Why Christians Should Not Involve in Homosexuality and Its Likes Hello everyone, welcome to Star Tunes, thank you for your constant love and support towards the growth of the channel, may God bless you in Jesus' name. In this episode, I'll be showing you both the spiritual and physical danger of homosexuality and why Christians should not be involved. Please watch till the end so you don't miss out on the best part of this video. God bless you. Hi love, why have you been avoiding me? I guess you now have a new lover. What do you mean? You even went to a party with him and not me. I guess you're talking about Kelvin. Come on. I just introduced him to someone. So you mean he's one of us now? Of course, we'll keep recruiting as many people as possible. We need to dominate the world. You're right. So, didn't you miss me? Because I missed you. I did miss you. By the way, I love your new look. Calvin, why are you looking this way? You have changed so much. What's happening? Of course, mom. Change is constant. You dye your hair, wear earrings and make up. What is happening to you? You look like a homosexual right now. Homosexuals are human too, mom. So it's no big deal. I said it, ever since you came home last night. I have been watching closely and I have realized that something is not right. Mom, common, it not a big deal. Besides I am old enough to choose my own sexuality. Calvin please don't tell me what I'm thinking is true. Mom, you need to start getting used to it. Because that's who I am now. No way, you are a man and should behave like one. Mom, I find so much joy in it and I have decided. Please don't do this, you have to stop this mess. It's my life. I will live it the way I feel fit. You are still under us, you can't live as you choose especially when you are living wrongly. Mom, I am an adult. Let me be. I am your mother, I can't let you live wrongly. In fact, I don't think I can continue to stay in this house. I am going back to the school. I can't deal with this. That path you're going, is not a good path. Please make a U-turn before it consumes you. That's the devil trying to consume you with evil thoughts and desires. I can't deal with this. I'm leaving. Hello Andy. Hi Tracy. Andy please can I have a word with you? What is it about? Go ahead. Are you a Christian? Of course I am. As a Christian we are guided by God's words in the Bible right? Do you read your Bible? Yes I do. How come you still live like this? Have you not come across the book of Leviticus 18 verse 22? Well what does that say? 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters nor adulterers nor men who have sex with men. And there is a punishment for people who indulge in it in the book of Leviticus 20 verse 13. Please my friend, refrain from this sin before it consumes you. I know you were not born like this. Take a look at you, originally born a man, but you are trying to transit into a woman. Altering God's creation, you should know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. And trying to change is not God. You shouldn't be wearing clothes meant for women and makeups too. Please if you are a true Christian, then you should study your Bible very well. And you will know the truth which shall set you free from this bondage of sin. This is my first time hearing about those scriptures. I was lured into this by friends. And because it is legal and not a crime, I felt it was okay to do it. Also, as a man I didn't have the courage to talk to any woman. So when a gay friend came unto me, I just had to give in and ever since this has been my life. I wish I knew what you are saying now earlier. You still have a chance to atone. No time is late as long as you are still breathing. How do I make atone? 
How do I stop loving like this? First step is accepting that you have been living in sin. Second step is accepting to change. Third step is asking God for forgiveness and never going back to that path. That is all. It's about the time you have been with Kelvin for one year now. It's time you dump him and move on to the next man. Keep recruiting more gay men into the kingdom, and you will be rewarded with wealth and power. Yes, Master. I am ready to move on to the next man. Kelvin is already soaked in homosexuality that he can no longer stop it. Good. You have done well. You may go win more souls to the kingdom. We need more men. We need to raise men that will publicly stand against the will of God and humiliate Christianity. Go into churches and rule young men. Babe, you won't believe what I saw today. What is it? I saw Andy at the school gate as I was coming. He was preaching and telling homosexuals to repent. Are you sure of what you are saying? Of course I am. I saw him with my two eyes. He even cuted his hair and changed his hair color. He changed his dressing and looks. No makeup on. Nothing. Are you for real? Wow. What has come over that fool? I really have no idea. He was even trying to preach to me. He told me to stop dating you. That I should stay away from you and other gay men else I will be consumed. How dare he? Who is he to tell you what to do and what not to do? I will go and teach him a lesson he will never forget in his life. Sure you should. Hi Ben. Good to see you. Oh I can see. What I heard of true. Well. I didn't come to exchange pleasantries with you, I came to warn you to stay away from Michael. Don't go spoiling his mind against our relationship. You can do what you want about yourself, but avoid me. I can see that Michael has told you I preached to him. Yes I did. I have found light and I want you all to do the same thing. As a Christian, I have realized that being gay is a sin and there is a punishment for all sinner. I don't want to get caught up in that sin. I want you to do so too. What light have you found? You might have stopped being gay, but you are no different from us. You even did worse. You were transgender, cross-dresser and gay. So if gayism is a sin, then you will also be punished for it. No, no, that's where you get it all wrong. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. I have forsaken my old gay life, I am now new in Christ, and all my sins are forgiven. You too can be safe before it is too late. It is written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9, or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men. Yes, that's the word of God. I preached to Michael so that he can be saved. And now I'm telling you the same thing too. Come over to this side of light. But how am I supposed to stop? I'm used to this life. I can't stop it even if I wanted to. You weren't born like this. Were you? No I wasn't. A man forced himself on me when I was a teenager and that was how I found myself doing it. You can still choose to stop it. All you need to do is ask the Holy Spirit for help and control. That's all. Thank you so much Andy. I will do as you have said. Also talk to Michael and Kelvin. Make them understand that they are making a mistake. Sure, I will do that immediately. Michael, I called you for this talk because I want to officially tell you that I am denouncing homosexuality. I want to come straight and be the person God created me to be. And I want you to do same. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. I'm serious. I have given my life to Christ. We have been living in sin. And God is not happy about it. I want to love a life that's right. But there's nothing wrong with being gay. You told me so yourself. You dragged me into this. Yes I did, 
and that was because I was blinded by lies. Now I know the truth. I'm sure Tracy talked you into this. Just as she tried to do to me. It doesn't matter, it is the truth. I surrender I am no longer gay. That's your problem. As for me, I go nowhere. I am enjoying myself. Ben. Hello Michael. Why have you been avoiding me? So what I'm hearing is true. Michael, I'm a changed man now. You two should ask God for forgiveness and change. How dare you? You made me leave my ex-boyfriend, and now you are dumping me. I dump homosexuality, not you. I think you should do the same. I'm disappointed in you. Just do as you please, but as for me, I will live and die gay. It's up to you. As for me, I am done. Rubbish. I shouldn't have wasted my time with you. Anyways, you're not the only guy in town. There are so many others begging to be with me. Michael refused to listen to Ben, instead he moved on to another guy to continue his lifestyle, vowing never to stop it. Calvin are you okay? I don't understand what's wrong with me. I'm burning inside. My head aches so badly. It's as if my head is about to explode. Oh my goodness. Let me take you to the hospital. Have you heard from Mr. Smith lately? No I haven't. I don't have anything with him anymore. So I don't call him. I have been calling him for days now, and he's not picking up. It even looks as if he has blocked my number. I miss him and I need to talk to him. Calvin you don't need Mr. Smith right now. You need to go to the hospital. But why is he not taking my calls anymore? Maybe he's done with you as he does with others. Let's go to the hospital. Doctor what exactly is wrong with him? Ben, we have conducted different tests, scans and x-rays and we're not able to ascertain what the problem is. How? The results shows that he's fine. So just take him home. Doctor, Calvin is not fine. He is sick. He's even acting like he is going crazy or something. Well, speaking based on our findings. He's fine. There's no need keeping him here. Just take him home. Ben took Kelvin back to the hostel, but he was still behaving abnormally and sick. Ben had to call his parent to come take him home. Hello Ben, how are you doing? I'm good Andy, I just came to get some pharmaceutical tools for a practical. And you? I came to buy medicine I guess. Hope all is well with you. You know one has to pay for their sins one way or the other. You know after I gave my life to Christ, I decided to detransit to the man I really am. And it hasn't been an easy process due to some complications that came up in the process. I have to correct some of these complications with medicines and vitamins. Which is what I always come to buy. It's swell my brother. God will take control, he will perfect everything that concerns you. Amen. Of course, I believe he will. So I heard Michael is sick and has been admitted for days now. What? What's the problem? I don't really know the details, but I heard it's really bad. I have to visit him, thank you for the information. Michael, I learned about your health. So I decided to come see you. How are you and what's wrong? Then I have destroyed myself. If I had known, I would have listened to you. And saved myself all this problem. What do you mean? What's the problem? After we broke up, I started going out with another man. He was HIV positive and he didn't even tell me. He has been taking medications and he didn't bother to tell me anything about it. He infected me with the virus and I didn't know. I had it for two years. And now it has grown into a full-blown AIDS. The virus has totally eaten up my immune system and can't be controlled anymore. And the worst part of my problem is that I have a terrible infection, I can't walk because of it. 
I'm seriously bleeding and dripping fluids through my anus. In a day, I wear two to three adult diapers and it's still uncontrollable. And due to the AIDS, it's difficult to treat it. My life has ended. Michael, your life has not ended. We all make mistakes but when we realize them and ask God for forgiveness, He is merciful to forgive. My life has already ended. My AIDS is full blown and some of my organs no longer responding. I know, I understand. But it's still not too late to ask God for forgiveness. Whether you get well or not. It's important that you are on the Lord's side till the end. Pray and ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me my sins, wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me, on the third day you rose again that I may be justified. Right now, I believe that my sins are forgiven, I'm justified by your blood, I'm born again, I'm saved, I'm a child of God, I'm free from the power of sin to serve the living God. Thank you Jesus for receiving me, thank you Jesus for restoring me, thank you Jesus for saving me. Father, I pray over this precious soul. Your grace has saved them, let your grace also preserve them. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. Remain covered until the day of his appearing. You have come into light. You will never have any reason to go back into darkness. You've come into freedom. You will never go back into captivity. In Jesus' name Christ. Amen. My brother, you did the best thing today. Accepting Jesus Christ into your life. Trust God to take control. Whatever becomes the outcome of your illness. The most important thing is that your name is now in the eternal book of life. And Jesus loves you. Calvin please talk to me. How are you feeling? What is happening to you? I have taken you to different hospitals and none of them could help. They don't even know what your problem is. I don't know what to do anymore. Kelvin please say something. Why are you mute? You were not born like this. What is happening to you? Kelvin became mute and was no longer behaving normal because Mr. Smith had used his sense and destiny for ritual. Unfortunately, his mom is not a very spiritual person so she didn't think of handling it spiritually which would have been the solution. Maybe that's his punishment for not listening to Tracy and Ben when they tried to talk him out of sin. Homosexuality, transgenderism, cross-dressing and all those practices are of the devil. It is a demonic spirit, sent by the devil to destroy lives. They are sinful and abominable acts. A Christian should not indulge in them. It is clearly stated in the Bible, that God detests them and will punish such people. If you are one of these people, please refrain from it and do the right thing. And the good news is that once you realize our sin, confess and ask for forgiveness, never going back to it. You can be saved. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Please brothers and sisters, give your life to Christ. Today and shun homosexuality, it is a sin. Thank you for watching, please share this video out for more visibility, also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you. If you have not watched the part 1 of this video, check the link pinned in the comment section, click on it and watch for better understanding of how it all started.